Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today I have a little something special for everyone. And uh, we're going to talk about something called distortions in space-time. That is something that has given a lot of people a lot of uh, questions. What's going on with them? Can you RNG them? Uh, why are they the only source of some Pokemon so you can't find Shinies for them easily? Well, I don't have the answer to all those questions, but I have a little bit more information than before because uh, I have been digging into the game's memory uh, with the help of a, a user named Zyro. Uh, he gave me a lot of tips and using some tools to read memory, and and we, we both were digging in there and we found pointers for things. And Anyways, I have some information today and a script and some... some uh, little bit of RNG. It's not really RNG. It's more like Soft Reset Simulator 2022, but it will give you some information. So anyways, let's start by talking about distortions and uh, how they actually operate. So first off, I'm going to bring up this bring up uh, this uh, thing right here. Okay, great. So you can see here, this is Coronet Highlands, and I've just marked the distortions here. So you can see there are groups of distortions. And so each of these four little swirls is just counts as one distortion. And each of them has one, two, three, four little little points. So there are three quote-unquote rare spawns. These are the special ones, the exclusive ones. Like in Mount Coronet, it's the fossil Pokemon or Rowlet if you beat in the post game. Um, and then it has one spawner that's dedicated to the two to three Pokemon that just kind of spawn out of thin air and try to take you out. So there's a whole bunch of groups of them. But yes, the the common Pokemon, I'm going to call them like these, these will respawn as long as the distortion exists. But the rare spawns, the quote unquote rare spawns, the exclusives, like here you go, these guys, they will only spawn one per distortion and they will not respawn. So that's it. Once once you deal with them, you're gone. So you can check them, see if they're shiny, and then leave. So that if you're doing normal shiny hunting, that's essentially what you're going to do. Now, I have things... I have gotten a little bit of, like I said, pointers. I actually did dug in here, and then I wrote a script to integrate everything. And so I wrote this... It's a, uh, this is a big script. Anyways, you don't have to read it, but all you have to do here is going to back out here, go back to, uh, going to go and yeah, so we're going to go all the way back. So all you have to do is download this, uh, script, go to pinks, PYNX reader, tests, PLA, and drop it in there. Te check distortion dot. Dot .py. That's all you have to do to quote-unquote install it. It all works as long as you have the PYNX reader, which you probably do. You've got Python because you've run the map and everything. Again, this requires CFW, so you can't do it without it. Anyways, once you get in the, bring, in the, bring up the script here, you can scroll down. The only real important thing that you care about here is this value right here, mat val. In this case, I have it set to four, but you can set it whatever number you set it to. That will be the map that it will read the data for. So make sure you're on the right map. And that's all you have to do in the script. Just update the map value. Uh, I will be making updates to this as time goes on. So um, hopefully this will be out of date soon and you won't have to do all that stuff. But anyways, so when you are looking to actually try to read this, go to your area. So in this case, I'm in Coronet Highlands. So once you load in, so you load in, I'm already here, but you're going to want to go to your area, make sure there's no outbreak happening there, right, right then, save the game, and then you're going to have to reload. I'm just going to check something real fast. Yeah, so then you're gonna you're just gonna reload uh, because the pointers for whatever reason do not do not function if um, 
if you transition areas. I don't know why. Again, I'm not an expert at this. I just learned how to do this two or three days ago. Um, so I can't speak to why. However, just save, save in the area, make sure there's no outbreak, reload your game. Now when you load in, the memory pointers that we're looking at will be will be populated and so you'll be able to run the script. So we're gonna go ahead and bring up this. Okay, so here we go. Get a fresh fresh window here. Make sure you're fully loaded into the game. And make sure you've you've CD'd into your directory where you have the script installed. And yes, uh, people have have messaged me saying, hey, you know, you put your name here and the yes, my name is Adam. Okay, let's get over that. Anyway, so there you go. And just run the script. And it'll ask you for the number of shiny rolls. So this is a, an area where it's better to have the same shiny rolls for everything because if you don't, things will be off. Like you may, see, if you have, if you say you have five shiny rolls and a, one Pokemon only has two, it might say it's a shiny, but it won't because it check, it checks species and everything. So just keep that in mind. But in this case, for me, I have the shiny charm. Everything is five. And then here's a choice. You could do shiny filter, yes or no. So if you say yes, it will only display something here if it finds a shiny. So here, no shinies today. But I'm going to go ahead and hit five and then say shiny filter no. And now you can see it's dumping out a whole lot of data. So one thing that I have found is that every single spawn point, quote unquote, in the in a distortion on the map is loaded when you load into the game. And so we can determine the initial Pokemon that comes in. So I have a location here. These are just given by me. They're not official locations or anything, but like in Boulder Roll, Roll Ravine, there will be a Rowlet with an impish nature with these IVs, and there'll be a Dartrix with these IVs, and there'll also be another Dartrix, and so on and so forth. Um, you can see shield ons, rylets. I've I've populated the encounter slots, so so those are so those are going to be the correct species that are spawning there, as well as whether or not it's shiny. You don't have to worry about the generator seed, or but um, yeah. So you will. So if we were to spawn a distortion, like let's say we uh, just had a distortion appear out of thin air, right, right now somehow. Oh oh, look at that. Look at that, a distortion appeared. And we'll go ahead and check, and it's an ancient quarry. Okay, so let's scroll up and find the ancient quarry. And we're scrolling. Here we go, ancient quarry. So we, so there we have groups five, six, and seven. Um, ignore group four, even though it says it. This this one, the first one in a, in a given location, are deal with the common spawns, and we don't really care about them. So there will be a shield on, a Kranidos, and a Rowlet. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and go over there and go ahead and see what we can find. So we're hopping over. Everything's really fancy and time distorted and hard to see. And so yeah, there's three rare spawns, and then there's the ones that follow you around. I've I've done this enough that I know generally where all the all of the uh, rare spawns are. But here we go. All right, so we got in a got into the battle with with it. So now we're gonna bring up the web tool as well because you can if you click on this you can hit update battle information and it will give you the Pokemon that you're battling. So here we go. We have uh, the EC. Mm. There we go. We can see the EC matches, the PID matches, and the IVs also match. So yeah, there you go. We've determined one of the Pokemon here, and it's the right species. So we're going to go ahead and close out the web tool because that's taking up most of my screen. We're going to run, run from this battle. We're not Again, I don't care about these common spawns of the Magmar. I can catch a Magmar elsewhere. But yeah, we'll come down here. There's another one down here. You. You see, there it's a Rowlet. And, I mean, I don't even have to look at it to know that that Rowlet matches this one right here. And I'm just going to update the battle information. And I can see, yeah, right there in the battle information, it's got the right IVs and na right nature, right ability. And 
right P PID and, and uh, Pokemon ID and encryption constant. So there you go. I mean, you 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 see, I'm just doing this to show that this is that this is done. Now the problem is that this only applies to the very first distortion that you encounter. After, uh, after that, things get really messed up. So you have to make sure you're going to the right location. Um. So yeah, that's okay. Drapion just did some damage, and then here we go. We got a shield on. That is sassy. It's a very sassy shield on. I just looked at the battle information again. And you, you can see right there. It all matches. So yeah, that's all there is. That that's all there is to running this script. Now you want a shiny. Obviously, th these these things are hard to find. So you, like I said, you can put on the shiny filter whenever you want, and it will find you. Eventually, it will find you a shiny. All you have to do is like like you just saw me do right there. Just soft reset the game. Load back in. You're already in Coronet Highlands or wherever you want to be hunting, and run the script. You can run the shiny filter on, and you'll see right away whether or not you got you got lucky. And again, more shiny rolls are better because I we're looking into trying to figure out how to actually RNG these things. But until that happens, the only thing we can do is check these initial spawns. But it's better than nothing. It, it at least will save you a lot of time, I hope. All right, so let's go ahead and check. Five rolls. Turn on the shiny filter. Nothing found this time. So it's, again, soft resetting. So I'm going to go ahead and soft reset a few times. And I'll get back. To, I'll get back because I want to show you getting a shiny. I, I mean, I, I have, I've recorded quite a few videos of getting shinies. But, but um, I, I want to show one for this video as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm do, going to do a whole bunch of soft resetting on my end. And I will see you all in just a few minutes. Well, I don't know. It might be hours. But for you, it'll only be a few seconds from here. All right, everyone. I have gotten to a shiny that I think will be very nice. Anyways, um, so let's go ahead and I'll, I'll bring up the tool and show you what it looks like. All right, so here we are. Got our tool. Uh, theoretically, got our tool. All right. There we go. Now we got our tool. All right, so let's go ahead and buy, check distortions. Five shiny rolls. Let's put on the shiny filter. And here you go. We see we have gotten a shiny this time. It is in the Boulder Roll Ravine, and it is a Kranidos, and it will be shiny, timid. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now we just need to get a distortion to spawn there. So one thing to note is that these, these group IDs and locations only work if, A, you have beaten the game already, because uh, then you unlock everything, and, uh, it, and they also only work if you uh, don't have an outbreak in the area, so just note that. Um, and also, if you go to another distortion, there's a chance that you will lose that shiny Pokemon. So may so that's why I put those locations in there. Make sure you go to the right one. So um, if we could just manage to somehow get a distortion, uh, distortion to spawn, um, we will be in business here. Oh, you look at that. Let's see. Uh, this one is not. This one is in the... Uh, the uh, Celestica Ruins, so we're not interested in that. Let's go ahead and let's see. Keep that, keep that going, because yeah, we're looking for the Boulder Roll Ravine distortion specifically, because each Pokemon has a given spawn point. Uh, that is close. That's the Primeval Grotto one. If anything, this is teaching you where where they all are in Coronet. Okay. So that one goes away, and uh, if this takes a long time, I'll just uh, I'll just do a little jump here. N nope, that's too close. That's got to be the ancient quarry. Yep, ancient quarry. And this does work if the distortion spawns normally. I've ha I've tested it out, and other people have tested it out as well. Alright, 
distortion spawning up there. That's definitely not it. That's again, Celestica Ruins. Okay, so here, here, here we're, we're just going to go ahead and jump ahead to when I finally manage to get the distortion to go to the right spot. Okay, here we are. We got it. It's at Boulder Roll Ravine. That is what we are interested in. So let's go ahead and go there. All right, Boulder Roll Ravine. I like to go to this one right here. And here we are. So now we're just looking for our shiny. It's going to be a Kratido somewhere. Oh, I heard it. There it is. Alright, so um, keep in mind, you only get one shot at this. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Uh, no, uh, because you can't save. This isn't like other spawns where you can save and and come back to it. The distortions aren't saved, so you only get one chance to catch it. Kranidos does have a move that can kill itself if you don't catch it. Just keep that in mind. So, uh, yeah, good luck. But, but yeah, just just exercise caution. But here, here you have it. Um, now let's go ahead and just check the uh, check the uh, battle information. Here you go. You see Kranado shining. Obviously, timid. All the IVs match exactly what our tool said, so you know that it is predicting things correctly. And again, this tool only can predict the first Pokemon that spawn out of a distortion for each location. So. If you go and you check and you don't get a shiny, just reset the game, come back, reset the game, load it back in, run the script again. And that's all there is to it. I'll keep updating the script, and as we develop more tools and more knowledge, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to give it all to you so you don't have to worry. And uh, hopefully, eventually, we'll be able to actually RNG these things. But for now, we can at least tell if there's going to be a shiny in any given distortion when you load into the map. And that is a lot better than just blindly checking things. Oh, come on, you dude. Just stay on the ball. It would have been a perfect time. Um, but yeah, that's that's all there is to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to catch this Kranidos. And if it doesn't catch in time, I hope you all have the best of luck. Thank you for the perfect timing there. I hope you all have the best of luck finding whatever rare shinies you want to find like that Quilava that I have in my party over there and and I will see you all very soon with hopefully even more exciting news take it easy